How's it going everyone? This is Maya Hello and welcome back to the new game plus of Chrono Trigger. Now as you notice, this is around a halfway point of the Let's Play. And also around a time when I stopped my previous Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. So I got to the point where I got Frog back, where he's all like, I have the Masamune, yeah! And the Masamune is incredibly weak compared to the Brave Sword, so it doesn't fit the story, but we don't care about Magas anymore. We care about Lavos. Now, I said we're halfway into the game, so I also said I'm not going to show off every ending. So what did I do? When I blazed through the game, I ended up skipping five endings. I thought they weren't interesting enough to watch. So the first ending that I skipped over is one that you can access by going to the telepod and fighting Lavos after you go back from 600 AD after you save Marl and Queen Leanne in the beginning of the game. That means you have to fight Chrono, that means you have to fight Lavos with only Chrono and Marl again. So I kind of didn't want to do that, but the ending is kind of an interesting alternate scenario. The other ending that I skipped, the next ending that I skipped over, is something that you can access the first time you go to the end of time. You know how you can go to the bucket and fight Lavos anytime? So this is something you can actually access in the main game, if you manage to beat Lavos. But, I mean... In the main game, by the point you first reach the end of time, you'll be too weak to kill Lavos. But if you do, or if you go into New Game Plus and go touch the bu bucket after you enter the end of time for the first time, after you save Robo, you get a weird interpretive dance ending. The next ending is one that you get um, after you fight Zombor and learn about Tata, but before you get the hero's badge from Tata. That ending is a little interesting, and that's maybe that may be something that I would I would recommend you go and see. The next two endings are not interesting, however. Um, the next ending that you can get is one after you get the hero's medal, but before you party with Isla in the prehistoric era. What you get is some sort of montage. Now the next ending, and the last of the endings that I skipped over, is one that you watch after you get the gate key back from Azala, but before Frog rejoins your party. What you get is a slideshow. That is boring. So we're going to be watching an ending that you can watch as soon as Frog rejoins your party. You don't need to watch the dramatic Mazamune scene to watch this. I wanted to just show it off just because, hey, poetry, it rhymes. So I'm so here's the thing. At this point, you can fight Lavos by going to the bucket from the end of time, or going to the gate at the telepod. I prefer to go to the gate at the telepod. Why, you may ask? Because you actually get to skip the boss rush. That's right, going in here allows you to fight Lavos without the boss rush so I find that incredibly convenient. So, here we are. About halfway into the New Game Plus, we're fighting Lavos with Frog, Robo and Chrono. At this point, you are required to fight Lavos with Frog and Chrono. So I'll see you at the end of the fight.
Good job, Frog. You landed the final blow, even though you were the weakest member in our party. So, yeah, we just killed Lavos yet again with a slightly different party. I showed off Frog's dialogue from before since we never saw Frog's dialogue when we were fighting Lavos. Robos was the same, so it doesn't de it doesn't depend on what combination you have. It just depends on what characters are present. So, yeah, that was kind of an eventless fight. Not as stressful as playing as Chrono and Marl. So what happens now that we have destroyed Lavos at this stage in the game? That sounds a bit more irritating than Lavos' scream. Oh, it's just... Oh, look at Chrono being all like, anime sleeping. Which I guess would make sense since Toriyama and all. What happened to you, Robo? You didn't get messed up that badly. Oh, it's just a social commentary, I guess. Yeah, Chrono's lazy. Everyone else is working. Oh, hey, Marl, what's up? But what about all of us? All of us fought long and hard. So notice how there's only five of us here. Remember, these are the five who were present. Five who were present in our party, so it makes sense. Hey, Frog, what's up? Anything wrong? Yeah, you know, we're just living the normal life now. Just like what we always wanted. Oh. Like what? Wait a minute. Are you okay, Frog? <laughs> it's not so... Why are you laughing at him? Come on, that's... I know you're trying to be friends, but... He's new, so you probably shouldn't treat a new friend like that. Oh, it's this music. Right. Even though we destroyed Lavos, Frog did have some unfinished business back in his own time period. So he made it past those clowns, and he's making his way up. He leaves no mercy. He has one goal. Avenge Cyrus. How can he do that? By facing the man behind that door.
And so, the battle proceeds, as it always should have, whether or not we help Frog, Frog will have to fight Magus no matter what. In a fight where Magus uses his magic, in a fight where Frog uses his might, his determination, they will always fight. No matter what happens, no matter what we change, this battle always has to happen. And it is a it is a fierce battle, a gruesome battle, a battle of many droplets of blood and sweat. Two men fight, and one shall leave alive. Like I said, there can only be one victor in that fated battle. Who is the victor, though? We don't know. That could be Frog up there. That could be Magus up there. They both have capes. It is likely it is Frog. Not to mention that if Magus were here... Actually, I personally think it's Frog because... A the roundish head. B, he, the fact is, if Magus beat Frog and killed him, then he would have proceeded with what he was originally doing, trying to summon Lavos. And I'm actually going to talk more about that plot point, actually, where Magus was trying to summon Lavos, but let's just say if Magus was able to summon Lavos, there is a very good chance he would not be standing a there's a very good chance he would not be standing up there, alive. I'm implying that Lavos, if Lavos were summoned, would have killed Magus. So that's my theory, or that's my interpretation. But you have to admit, this was a pretty badass ending, especially the ending. Well, so this is the frog ending, or I guess the official name is The Oath, or whatever name it has. So join me next time, and I will show you another ending. One that's also pretty badass. I'd say it's going to be better than this one. So until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.